Hey guys, I hope you're well. Type 25 for you today. Huge, huge buff in this season. Probably a little bit too big, so enjoy it while it lasts. The base stats, highest damage per round, 28. Lowest damage per round, 16. We're probably gonna have to always use the stopping power reload though. Penetration damage, pretty good. ADS speed, not bad. Sprint to ADS at the moment is coming in at one frame. I am informed that Mr. Rory over on Signu's team has discovered this is affecting all guns at the moment, so I expect this to change very quickly. Once this is patched, I'll put the proper sprint to ADS in the top comment. Part reload, not bad, just under two seconds. Good cancel reload at just under one and a half seconds though. Empty reload nasty, but look at that empty cancel reload, nice. Magazine size of 30, okay, it's nasty. We get that with the stopping power as well but make do. The RPM has been increased, 871 now. Down, this is really, really up quite a lot and it makes a huge difference to the time to kill. Movement speed, this is a really, really fast mover. Great ADS movement speed, the walking speed is even good, but that sprint speed, even with lightweight, 6.73, really, really good. What can we expect from the base damage? Well, the base damage, headshots, 207 milliseconds. That is just nice. Okay, the torso, which is where you're gonna hit most of. It's only that 207 up to 11, but then it's 276 up to 27, 28. Awesome, nothing wrong with that at all. Even legs and arms, you're gonna hit those up to the 18 meters. It works really, really nicely. As for the accuracy, most of it is vertical for about the first 15 rounds. There's a very slight right pull. You will feel that more at range, but it is 100% predictable. The trail is perfect. Hip fire is unusually tight for an assault rifle. Five meters is absolutely lethal, and even at 10, it's going to hit more often than not. The iron sight, because this is based on the same weapon type as the S36, it has that outer ring. Now on the S36, that's really distracting, but the actual aiming sight is a lot clearer on this weapon, so I think you can get away without a red dot. As for the fitting, I've gone fast. Now really, this is not much different than the fitting that we used to have. MIP light barrel short, combat stock, laser tactical, granulated grip tape, and of course, stopping power reload. With the changes to stopping power reload, it is brilliant now. ADS speed now down to 200 milliseconds. Absolutely amazing. I like to keep lightweight with this. I wanna keep that speed up. With lightweight, we're just shy of seven meters per second. But a lot of your combat is gonna be close range, so quick fix, definitely a good call. You may want to consider Vulture if you're staying alive a lot anyway. So what does this fitting do for the time to kill? Well, look, for the most part, mostly we now get the upper torso and the headshot, very reminiscent of what the DRH does. But it pushes out that five shot kill range up to 38 meters now before it hits the nastier range. But now everything up to 11 meters is a four shot kill. Awesome stuff. For the accuracy with this fitting, yes, stopping power has had a nice fix to its recoil, but the recoil increase is still there. But short range, not a big deal. And you can see from the image straight away, the bullet spread accuracy is far improved. Hip fire and iron sight, completely unchanged with this build. Now, as for Battle Royale, I've gone with this fitting, which is long range, monolithic suppressor, extended light barrel, the steady stock, the range of foregrip, and instead of the stopping power, I decided on more ammunition. You can go with a stopping power if you like, but because of the hitbox changes, this seemed a lot more sensible to me. Bear in mind that the multiplayer fitting is actually very usable in Battle Royale. You could have the long range Type 25 and the short range Type 25 working as an SMG for you. It works really, really nicely. Extended mag, long range, and still go with the stabilizer if you go with this build. Really, really make that recoil a lot better. Yes, the ADS speed, reload speeds are hurt, and the movement speeds are hurt a bit there, but this is the long range part of the deal. For the damage on this one, yes, without stopping power, there's a slight difference, but it isn't that heavy. 
it's only really heavy when you get up to the higher ranges past 30 meters but time to kill really good a lot quicker than some other assault rifles up close the time to kill is really really nice now and i do think it has been over buffed a little great let's enjoy it the movement speed for an assault rifle is brilliant nice stuff and the stopping power recoil change is extremely helpful i didn't like it before and i think it's what hurt stopping power coming in the negatives were just way too hard if you were ever called an mx9 noob in the last three seasons you're probably going to get called a type 25 noob we'll put that as a con possibly a pro depends on what sort of things you like being called long range kills are not that realistic with the multiplayer build you can use the br build in multiplayer but that adsv is probably going to hurt you quite a bit thank you for your time in watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions or comments chuck them below don't forget to hit like on the video and of course join our discord where i'll post these stats shortly thank you guys see you next time